Asus ZenBook 14 UX434F is a new version of Customer's beloved 14-inch model, which main beauty this year is the second screen called ScreenPad 2. Welcome to TechFellas, my name is Bogdan, so now you definitely know me, and today let's get... Today let's get to know that guy, the newest Asus ZenBook 14 of 2019. Yeah, sometimes it's really hard to keep the bad jokes away from the script. Model's design is unless the copy of younger brother, then looks almost the same. He has the stylish grinding on the back, ergo lift hinge as always is increasing comfort of typing process and helping in cooling system, as well as thick layers of metal all around the body. Frankly, I love how much effort Ace has brought in creation of that kinda repetitive but time-proven and well-designed style, classic if you wish. Also, among the neat forms, I'd like to mention these ultra-thin frames around the screen. It feels and looks cool and modern, exactly how you expect from such kind of laptops. Since we're here, yes, the frame is thin but wide enough to keep the face recognition system basing on 3D camera with ultra-red sensors. After testing, I can say that Windows Hello works pretty snap and stable. Before the main features appear, I'd also like to mention that keyboard is highly comfortable with fair key travel, for great backlight, but without a numpad. Of course, it was sacrificed to save some place and fit the laptop in the tiny little case, but actually numpad is never really gone, just digitally moved to screenpad 2. Let's talk about it now. Right below the keyboard there's 5.65 inches Super IPS screen with 2160 by 1080 resolution. It's a touch screen covered with a matte glass that easily handles up to 4 simultaneous finger moves. To cut it short, this area can do standard touchpad features and includes the whole bunch of new and not regular one. Let's see some of them. What you are dealing with is basically a second laptop screen that, for example, turns into a browser window for internet service surfing or even watching movies and videos on YouTube. So to say, you can turn on number key app that basically replaces the missing numpad. It's quite handy in work with numbers, especially in tables or calculator. And it's not a secret that instead of small working apps, ScreenPad 2 will let you place in the full-size programs like video player. I suppose now you know enough about ScreenPad 2. Let's take a look on the main display of ZenBook 14. Guess what screen size is here? 14 inches, of course. Also, it's IPS Full HD screen with complete range of sRGB colors and awesome viewing angles of 178 degrees. Due to that, it will be easier to work with graphic content and for sure watching movies with maximum comfort. Next, I'd like to say that speakers in that laptop are pretty loud and create nice acoustic sound, so you won't need to go upset if you forget your headphones. TV series and games will sound properly and loud enough. My thumbs up for it. Now you can wonder about playing games on that device, right? So it's performance time. Inside there's Intel Core i7-8565U and Nvidia GeForce MX250 with 2 gigs of video memory. Our samples got 16 gigs of RAM and SSD up to 1 terabyte to keep your personal data. How fast is that engine? I must say fairly snap. You will face no issues with internet browsing, working with documents, presentations, tables, watching movies in high quality. However, when it comes to video editing, up-to-date games and other heavy tasks, keep in mind that only gaming laptops or personal computers can handle this as smooth as general office work. You know what I mean, ZenBook 14 is not a gaming laptop, but it definitely makes its bite from power-consuming tasks. In other words, it will gladly show you its powers unless you go hardcore mode with this. Some simple video editing is a piece of cake to it, and you better consider playing not the most recent games, or at least long with the graphics. In general, this laptop will be a true assistant for you in many deeds, just know when enough is enough for regular working machine. This is how ZenBook 14 comes out elegant and fast with a bunch of branded features and the main pressure screen pad of second generation. Just one little advice from my experience, it may take some time to get familiar with that feature, so I'd recommend to try it out before buying. And if you like this video, then why not to support our channel by subscribing to it, hitting the like button, and ringing the bell to stay tuned for more cool content. My thanks for watching and cheers!